In your last exercise, you created a data set called by country, containing one row for each country with the total number of votes and the percentage of votes that were yes. Now you might be interested in knowing which country voted yes the most or least often. To discover this, we'll introduce one more dplyr verb, arrange. Arrange sorts a data set based on one of its variables in either ascending or descending order. This is useful for pulling a few interesting conclusions out of your data. Here, we could pipe by country to the arrange operation, telling it to sort by the percent yes column. We'd see that Zanzibar is the country that voted yes the least often in the data set, followed by the United States. But we might also notice that Zanzibar only had two votes in our entire data set, which means that 0% is basically meaningless. This is a very common way that summarized data can trip you up, and why you have to be careful about interpreting your results too quickly. To fix this, in your exercises, you'll have to filter the data set to remove countries with a low total, just like you early, earlier used filter to remove vote rows we didn't care about. Notice, therefore, that filter isn't just useful for cleaning your raw data, but also for manipulating your summarized data. It's therefore important to get comfortable using each of these dplyr verbs at all the stages of an analysis.